Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum everyone Today the topic is microbiology the biology of microorganisms very small organisms that usually require a microscope to be seen living things too small to be seen with unaided eye are called microorganisms are microbes microbes are microorganisms are important in maintaining earth's ecological balance everyone has microbes in and on the body these make up the normal microbiota or microbiome the normal microbiota are needed to maintain good health some microbes are used to produce foods and chemicals some microbes cause disease this is of the microbes microorganisms degrade dead plants and animals and recycle chemical elements to be used by living plants and animals bacteria are used to decompose organic matter in sewage Bioremediation process use bacteria to clean up toxic wastes. Bacteria that cause diseases in insects are being used as biological control of insect pests. Biological controls are specific for the pest and do not harm the environment. Using microbes to make products such as foods and chemicals is called biotechnology. Using recombinant DNA, bacteria can produce important substances such as proteins, vaccines, and enzymes. In gene therapy, viruses are used to carry replacement for defective or missing genes into human cells. Genetically modified bacteria are used in agriculture to protect plants from frost and insects and to improve the shelf life of produce microbes and disease the disease producing properties of a species of microbe and the host resistance are important factors in determining whether a person will contact a disease bacterial communities that form slimy layers on surfaces are called biofilms an infectious disease is one in which pathogens invade a susceptible host an emerging infectious disease is a new or changing disease showing an increase in incidence in recent past or a potential to increase in the near future classification of microbes all organisms are classified into one of three domains bacterial domains archaea domains and eukarya archaea cell walls if present lack peptidoglycan Eukarya includes protists, fungi, plants, and animals. Protists include slime molds, protozoa, and algae. Fungi includes unicellular yeast, multicellular molds, and mushrooms. Plants include mosses, ferns, conifers and flowering plants. Animals include sponges, worms, insects and vertebrates. Now the types of microorganisms. Bacteria are unicellular organisms because they have no nucleus. The cells are described as prokaryotic. 
most bacteria have a peptidoglycan cell wall they divide by binary fission and they may possess flagella bacteria can use a wide range of chemical substances for their nutrition archaea consists of prokaryotic cells they lack peptidoglycan in their cell walls archaea include methanogens extreme halophiles and extreme thermophiles yeast molds mushrooms or fungi have eukaryotic cells cells with a true nucleus most fungi are multicellular fungi obtain nutrients by absorbing organic material from their environment protozoa are unicellular eukaryotes protozoa obtain nourishment by absorption or ingestion through specialized structures algae are unicellular or multicellular eukaryotes that obtain nourishment by photosynthesis algae produce oxygen and carbohydrates that are used by other organisms viruses are non-cellular entities that are parasites of cells viruses consist of a nucleic acid core dna or rna surrounded by a protein coat and enveloped may surround the coat the principal groups of multicellular animal parasites are flat worms or round worms collectively called helminths the microscopic stages in the life cycle of helminths are identified by traditional microbiological procedures branches of microbiology bacteriology it is a study of bacteria virology virology is the study of viruses mycology mycology is the study of fungi parasitology parasitology the study of protozoa and parasitic worms immunology immunology is the study of immunity medical microbiology medical microbiology is the study of microorganisms that cause diseases in man veterinary microbiology veterinary microbiology is the study of microorganisms that cause diseases in animals food microbiology food microbiology is the study of microorganisms causing spoilage of foods and food burn diseases using microorganisms to produce foods aquatic microbiology aquatic microbiology is a study of those microorganisms that are found in water soil microbiology soil microbiology is the study of those microorganisms that are found in soil thanks for watching please like subscribe and share my channel to get new and updated informations